I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here, and I am so excited about this video because we are going to help a teacher. I'm going to take you into her classroom and show you how we organize the space so that she has a great start to the new year. So let's get started. So the classroom that we're going into is a third grade classroom and it's Miss Angie's room and she has been teaching for some years and we are excited to really help her. One, because teachers, they have a lot of stuff. And the reason why, and I, and with any teacher that I've spoken to, they all say the same thing. The reason why they have a lot of things is because they're scared to get rid of anything because they may need the resource and getting their materials and supplies is difficult and it's costly. Because a lot of times, teachers, most times, teachers are paying for all of these things themselves. So thank you, iDesign, for teaming up with me. And I hope you will team up with me on several other classrooms so that we can really get back to someone who gives so much to so many every day. So my team and I, we headed out to Miss Angie's classroom and I was excited to get out there to kind of see what we were dealing with and what we had to go on firsthand. I saw photographs and kind of worked everything out from there, but it's nothing like really actually being there. And it was just what I expected. A lot of stuff, you know, she has been teaching for 27 years and she's kind of holding on things to make sure that she has everything that she needs throughout the school year. But my job is not to come in and decorate her classroom and things like that. I want her to enjoy that process of setting up her classroom and setting up the tools. My job is to create systems that she can use year after year and it will help keep order in her classroom and help her have a space that is really user friendly for not only herself but for her students. So my first step was to set up our organizing command center. I identified one space in the classroom that I wanted to put these signs up so that I can then pull all of her things out of the cabinets and on the counter and put them over here by category. You know, I took, as I removed things, I was putting things as if they were teaching materials, if they were crafts, if there were things that needed to be purged. And many times when I'm working with clients, I don't know necessarily what are their keeps or what they want to get rid of. And so what I do is I do the initial sort and then I bring them in, we look at it together, and then we do another purge from that. Now, one thing that you as a teacher may feel overwhelmed with is that you see all of your stuff and you think this is an impossible mission. But when you set up a command center and you get rolling, it really does not take that long. So you see uh, it's a lot of stuff, but it really only takes probably 30 minutes to an hour for this classroom to get everything pulled and put into the different categories, which that really is not a lot of time for such a large project. So now that we have all of the cubbies and cabinets and spaces purged, it's time to give everything a nice wipe down because of course you all know, I think when you have empty spaces in your classrooms, take that time to wipe it down yourself. Even though a lot of times they'll have a cleaning crew clump come in, it's nothing like wiping it down yourself, especially with kiddos because you know they're bringing in all of those different little germies that they have and you wanna just have a classroom that's very pristine and clean for your kids. And so I took the opportunity while everything was cleared out to do this for Miss Angie so that we then had a clean slate to now implement organization. And I wanted to start with a teacher cabinet. A lot of times teachers don't think about themselves in their classroom. So I wanted to take this cabinet here as you walk into the classroom as Miss Angie's closet. This is her personal closet. I wanted it to be an adult style closet so that when she came in in the morning, she had a place to put her coat or her raincoat. So I put these hangers in there for her. I also wanted a place for her lunch bag and her water bottle so that she had a place to put things. I'm using these linen eye design bins, which I absolutely love. They have that sophisticated feel to it. I did put her lost and found there. It has the magnetic closure that is awesome and it just keeps everything concealed. And this is perfect for Miss Angie's closet because then when she opens it, she has her little special space to put her things. You know, if she wants to bring in her own snacks, she has a place for it. I love the eye design backpack. It's waterproof. This is going to be her field trip bag. And so I have a bin where she keeps all of her field trip items so that now when she does her field trip she can just go there and prep for it you know a place for her to put extra pair of shoes a place for her to put a notebook so that she can take home her papers that she wants to grade the next section is huge as far as the supply cabinet 
Classrooms have so many supplies. I think out of everything that probably with teaching tools, supplies was the next you know big thing. And so I wanted to create a system using the clear eye design bins, which are, you know, again, on that top 10 favorites for me, that would allow her to see all of the things and easily get to them, easily pull them out for the kids. And I categorize them by like items. You know, this is huge because this is something that she is going to not have to change year after year. So because I sorted all of her things in that one side of the room, I'm now able to pull all of those supplies and organize them efficiently for Miss Angie. And friends, this is such an efficient system for teachers to use to store their supplies and teaching tools because a lot of times they have to change classrooms every year and this makes it easy to make that switch. It makes it easy to get to the supplies when you need them and see when you're getting low. In the center cabinet, I use that for those things when the kids bring in their tissue paper and all that at the beginning of the year, she has a place to put it, a place for a first aid kit and all of those essential items. And to keep everything streamlined, all of her teaching binders I have now color coordinated. She can come in, label everything, Thing, but it's just very kind of simplified and easy on the eye. All of the construction paper are now in these eye design bins so that she can pull them out and easily get to them. So just kind of creating those doable systems. Now her teacher's area, it's not a desk that she uses when she's teaching often when the kids are here. I could not move the computer or the area, but I wanted to give her a space so that after class, if she's checking emails or following up with parents, she had a desk as a teacher that was not a teaching desk, but more so a desk for her to do her work. We had this cabinet that was already in her cat classroom. One of my teammates had a great idea to put it in front of the desk, turn it horizontally to give her kind of a cubicle feel so that she had her personal desk area. And then it lets the kids know that this is kind of an off limits area as far as coming back here. And it has her computer. I simplified it, put a lamp on the desk, which is huge to bring in that ambiance and to give her a little teaching desk. And it's simply a fold down table. Behind her, I use the eye design bins that have the clear front so that she could see all of the books, pull them out what she needs, put some of the teaching tools in here also. They're so extremely efficient for what she needs. On the top, I gave her the larger bins because she's not going to access this a lot of times because remember she said she had a lot of things that she wanted to hold on to, such as things for the holidays, Christmas things, teaching tools that she didn't want to get rid of. And then on top of that cabinet, I added the books that they tend to grab during class all of the time. I also took the games and I wanted to kind of, you know, streamline them a bit and make sure that everything was in baggy so that it made it simple when they went to use them. And it really helps keep things in order versus having them just kind of thrown in a box, you know, kind of keeping them sorted. I then wanted to give her bulletin boards a refresh and then incorporating those colors of the room, the teals, the blue, and the gray. And so I just put the paper on the bulletin board put the trim on and now Miss Angie can come in and she can set up all of her teaching tools and the things that she wants to implement in the classroom. I feel like with teachers a lot of times what happens is they spend a lot of their times trying to get through the clutter and kind of find some type of way to, to some type of organization within their classroom and it really takes away from what they truly need to be doing is setting up their learning tools and all of the things their lesson plans and all the things that they need to have a great start to educate their children in the beginning of the year. So I'm so happy we were able to do this for Miss Angie. So now that she can solely focus on implementing all of her teaching items and truly focus on making her classroom beautiful for her and her students. Now, as far as the kids, they each get their own cubby. And as you can see, this is a system that um, she was implementing from the previous year, but now we wanna make it very efficient and so that you don't necessarily have to see the kids' things, but they each have their own cubby. I love these little cute bins from iDesign. I love that they can pick up on the colors that we wanted for her room, that teal, the blue, and the gray. These are actually very fun colors, but they're soothing in a way. So it's like they're motivating colors, but they're soothing. And so I thought that that was great that we were able to have all three of those colors in the space. Because I'm always thinking about the needs for the classroom, for the teacher and the students, I wanted to implement a place where the kids would have their water bottles and it could easily be stored and maintained. And so this wall is the perfect area for that. And it's near the door, they'll exit for recess. I'm using the iDesign shoe, over the door shoe organizer for this. It's the perfect tool for that. Simple water bottles in those colors that coordinate with the classroom. With, with the classroom, I encourage a teacher to do that. Pick your core three colors or four if you want 
want for your classroom. And then I'm going to just use the hook to kind of hang it on the wall instead of over the door. And that makes it easy for the kids to come grab their water bottle. Miss Angie can come in and she can label it however she wants to label it to keep it easy for herself. And so this is where we're going to store all of the kids' water bottles for recess or if they need water in class. And I thought this was a fun little needed thing to add for the students. So next was to tackle the computer station. And this was something that I could not move because it's hooked up and it just needed to stay in place. So the only thing I did was implement a light and it totally changed the vibe of the area. Adding a light gives a little ambiance. It can be a motivator for the kids and it really makes the space an inviting space to come to. So this is the only change to that space was to kind of wipe down, try to hide as many cords as possible and implement a light. The reading area in an elementary classroom is so important throughout the school year. And so I wanted to identify this as its only unique space. And one way to do that is incorporating a rug because it, it identifies that area. And I put little just kind of shelves in there. She already had this cute little office chair that I knew that needed to be in the space. And then just implementing a place for all of the books. And so by using the iDesign metal bins, they're so multifunctional. Not only are we using these for the papers and things like that. We're using them for the books. It makes it easy to store the books and to categorize the books by kind of reading levels. And it makes it easy for the kids to maintain. They can easily come, flip through the books and get to what they need. And friends, those were the systems implemented. So the only thing I did from there was just to get the chairs in order. Miss Angie wanted her class grouped together so we could do groups of four, five, six. They just needed to be in groups. And so after implementing all of these systems and getting everything in place for all the teaching tools and supplies, it was simple to then create her kind of zones. And so I put the desk together in groups of five so that she you know, had all of her groups that she needed. As you can see now, everything has went from just being books and and tools and all kinds of things to having specific places for everything. So when you walk in the classroom, you know, you can easily identify where everything is. You know where the reading nook is. You know where the water bottles are. You know where the computer station is and the teacher's desk. And she had a kidney shaped desk that she needed as a place for her to come to when she worked with the kids on a day-to-day -day basis. I put that center of the room towards the back so that it made it easy for her in teaching. She also now has has her space when she comes in the morning so that she can have a great start to her day to put her things and she has a place now that is just specifically for her. So for me, it was about coming in, kind of getting all of the clutter out and all of the things sorted. And now she has a cabinet and a place where she can come in, open the doors, easily see where everything is, easily see when she needs to replenish. It makes it so simple when she's teaching. And what you know really brought joy to my heart is that now she can come in next week before school starts and she can enjoy the process of making her classroom beautiful from implementing her teacher tools. She can work on her bulletin boards. She can work on her little caddies here, putting all of the necessary tools that she wants in there and then making it special for her first day. She absolutely loved it. And she told me that after the first day of school, her class is just so calming she said it's the best that she's had in her 27 years of teaching and even the students she said they're it's just calm and that just made me feel so good because that is what all of our teachers deserve and need so thank you for joining me on this journey of implementing systems for miss angie's class also check out my friends at iDesign. they are the rock stars of this project because their tools really helped me get the systems in place that was needed for this classroom i'll put the link in the description box below i hope you all are doing great i will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye.